Hi, this is Piotr Walczyszyn, Adobe Developer Evangelist. Uh, so this is the second episode from the whole series when I cover how to build uh, phone gap applications uh, connected to salesforce.com. Uh, in the previous episode, we cover how to uh, get you up and running quickly. So clone from the app boil, uh, GitHub repository, uh, a ready sort of sort of a boilerplate project, and we launched it in the, in the browser. And so now um, we'll try to create new Xcode, so the iOS app project, uh, and uh, we'll run it as a native app. For the first time. Okay, so um, to get you up and running quickly, first of all, go to phonegap.com and download the latest uh, PhoneGap distribution. Once you have it downloaded, uh, you can go in and unzip it. So it's a, a zip package, and in my case, I already have it unzipped. And in the pro in the folder where I created my and cloned my WW folder, I can create new one uh, called Platforms, and that's the place where I'll be putting all my um, uh, platform specific uh, projects. Now uh, in the phone gap, uh, so unzip phone gap distribution, you can find a lib iOS uh, folder. If you go there, there's also a bin folder and the bin folder has a create script and create script. It's the one that we want to uh, open uh, uh, in terminal so let's open terminal window here and let's go into my project slips phone gap I guess and phone gap 2.1 in my lips iOS bin there we go so uh, now let's use create script and create script uh, uh, has uh, three arguments except uh, three arguments the first one is uh, the path to the newly created project so projects in my case uh, gap force demo platforms and let's use iOS uh, here uh, so this is where my iOS project will be placed and uh, the next one is the identifier of my app uh, so the the common thing is to use like a reverse domain name and my blog is out of me uh, so it will be reverse me out of and next is a, a identifier of the app gap force let's give it gap force demo and the third parameter is just the project name so gap force demo okay so let's uh, launch that and it should have created a new project for us uh, here we go demo platforms iOS and Xcode project so let's let's launch it and here we'll do a couple of things so first of all we'll need to reconfigure uh, the project to point to a different WW folder and also different index uh, HTML file because in my cloned repository I use um, different uh, different little bit different strategy because I use uh, for each platform a separate index um, HTML file. Now let's remove the www folder here. So just delete the oh. Just backspace, remove the reference, right click on the root of the project, add files to GapForce demo, and you can uncheck the copy item uh, items into destination uh, groups folder and select create folder reference for any edit folders. So we want just to create a reference to our cloned in the previous episode www folder and add so we got it now we have to go into classes and in the app delegate class here uh, we have to reconfigure so by default it uh, phone gap looks for index HTML and we want it to uh, have it uh, look for index dash iOS HTML so the uh, the specific for uh, for iOS now a uh, couple of other things we have to do uh, so we have to import a plugin called child browser this is the one that we'll need for the all-out authentication uh, so it will pop up additional window window uh, in the app with the form from Salesforce so right click on the plugins folder here add files to gap demo 
and here you can select copy items into destination group and create groups for any edit folders and wherever uh, you have or if you don't have you should actually go into sorry um, a github project called uh, phone gap uh, plugins there we go uh, so there you will find all kinds of plugins and the child browser is the one that we want but what you can do you can actually copy it and like we did uh, before just git clone and clone it somewhere to your drive so it will clone all the necessary plugins or some of them are unnecessary but the one that we want is uh, in my projects lips uh, phone gap and phone gap plugins iOS and uh, child browser so that's the one we want to clone oh, sorry add and child browser is here there are a couple of things that we don't need here so like child browser JS the subfolder with some demos and yeah so let's just remove that uh, it's not required here so to have the project clean now go to um, resources we have to register that uh, that plugin so here the plugins under Cordova P list and add and the key of the plugin is child browser command and you can copy it and the same thing for the value child browser command all right so we have a plugin configured one last thing that we don't have to return here anymore we need to add external hosts it's like a whitelist of uh, hosts that your phone gap application co can connect to so add come on add there you go and we can wildcard all the salesforce uh, urls or domain names and subdomains save it and now well let's try to launch it on on our simulator here so it'll be quicker and well one last thing just reconfigure gap force demo uh, that is our uh, launch target so run it and we should see our hello world which we've seen before in uh, in webkit now we should see it as uh, part of a native application so it takes a while uh, just to configure to launch the uh, emulator but once it's there, it, the next launch uh, launches will be much faster. Uh, so there we go. All right, you can see. There we go. We have Hello World and our uh, simple uh, simple view. All right, so. Uh, that's it in this episode. Stay tuned uh, for next one where I'll cover how to uh, connect uh, to Salesforce, so to how to authenticate the user. All right, thank you very much. Bye.